Hello everyone and welcome back to the Little Blue Fly. If this is your first time visiting, welcome and I invite you to subscribe to my channel. It's as simple as tapping that red subscribe button, making sure to select all after you have tapped the notification bell. So as you can see here, we have a couple um, like farmhouse chippy roosters and I have other farmhouse items that I will be sharing as well. And we are going to warm them up with um, what I'm calling um, a water, like a watercolor technique. Now I'm not gonna use it on these roosters, but the other items I am. And it's because these have a nice glossy finish to them. So the paint can really move well going across these roosters. And of course, I'm going to give them fabulous aged goodness. And then soon with the roosters, I will be placing them in some fall vignettes. So that being said, let's begin shall we so these roosters were purchased from the at home store and you know farmhouse it's just you know it's really really popular out there and the reason why i love farmhouse is because it gives me um a nice base foundation to work with because I'm one that likes a little bit of color in my decorating. So I'm going to use this vintage market and design chalk paint. And this, well, I actually purchased this bottle. It is burlap um, from the Minuteman Mini Mall. So I haven't actually looked online to see where it could be purchased from if it even can be purchased but um it is a fabulous color that i have been working with so again it is time to start adding in the color adding on the color well for you farmhouse lovers you're probably going no no what are you doing just hang in there. <laughs> so I place a little bit of paint on and then I wipe it off with a cloth. And it gives just a nice um, coverage of a little bit warmer, a little bit warmer tone. And that's what I'm going for is a warmer tone. So again, because this had a nice glossy finish to it, um, I was able just to place the paint on top and wipe it off. And you can see where the feathers are, the grooves. Um, some of the paint stays trapped in there, which is great because it offers um, fabulous detail. I actually painted... Um, for those of you that have not seen it already, a much larger rooster. These are, are just a bit smaller with the same technique. I'm just going to go over the front portion here. You can see the difference. Of that nice um, French country uh, tone to it. You can see the the paint has a nice thick texture, which when you work with you know your thicker paints, it does give more. Um, of a textured look on your pieces. 
not that this one needed really that much because there is quite a bit of texture on these roosters but I just wanted to give you that little bit of information. So as you can see, it's like a shadowing. Some places it's darker, other places it's lighter. So it's looking like a, um, a natural wear. So now it's time to put in the aging with Annie Sloan Dark Wax. She has dark wax, black wax, clear wax. But I want to go for the nice, um, the aged look. I'm using a brush that has a tip to help get inside the grooves. Now when using the waxes, you can put on as much or as little as you like. So when you put it on and then when you remove the excess, the excess wax, if you want it a little bit um, more of a richer tone, just apply another layer of wax. And as you can see, the wax will trap inside of the grooves and that's the ticket that's what we're looking for and then all the chippy goodness that just stays in place that doesn't go away because when I used the chalk paint I made sure to like smear you know wipe it with the cloth and this allowed for the chippiness to stay in place. I guess that's why I, you know, again, this is why I love farmhouse decor because it is a great base to work with to add in the color. Not like there's anything wrong with farmhouse. I think it's great, but it, it just, um, again, Bev likes color. Just working down on the feet, you can see the difference. All the chippiness still coming through. You know, lately it's just, um, it's been these cloudy and rainy off and on type of days over here and it's just perfect for painting and I thought, I have so much fall decorating coming up. I mean, huge amounts of decorating. I have to get this out of the way. You can see the difference between the two roosters. And just by applying two things, So we just have chalk and the dark wax on the left rooster. And the other is still in its original state. So again, I must get all of this painting done because I'm also painting my staircase and I have all this decorating to complete. And um, yes, I just surely would like to be able to sit down and relax a little bit more. But I'm also so excited to be able to share all of these projects with you all. This is where the fun begins. I love this. So this was these artichokes were purchased from the at home store for $12.99. I know they have an online presence, so you can go to their website um, at home.com and see if they have some artichokes. I'm going to use the fresh olive color 
and this paint was purchased from Michaels and it is an acrylic paint. And then we're gonna use the same paint all over again, the chalk paint. And it's just gonna, the burlap, and it's just gonna be um, a different technique and the dark wax. So as you can see, this artichoke, the color is flat and um, the paint just really doesn't wipe off like I want it to. So I'm having to use a completely different technique and what I call um, a watercoloring, I guess, <laughs> um, just because I'm adding quite a bit of water. I want to show you this is just the paint see it's just it's just thick so you add some water as you can see it's it's like a water coloring it's very thin and watery but then you'll if it's too thin like right there you see it thinning out you have to add a little bit more paint and then stick your brush in the water and add a little bit more water so it's just paint water paint water when you see that it's just um, the paint is just a bit too thin go back and put more paint on there and then you just dab it off and it's like a, a watercolor staining technique and now I'm gonna work on the inside It's just the same thing. You get in there the best you can, and if all of it doesn't come out, that's fine. It just gives um, the artichoke just a little bit more depth, you know, having the darker colors. Now, I start, as I work with it, you're going to see I continue to go over some of the leaves, like about two sometimes three times so now I'm going inside the grooves first and then I'm painting over the leaves see it's nice and and runny like a watercolor and as you can see the the other leaves up at top they have become darker and it's because I have gone back over it a couple times. It's really all to your liking, this is. I'm just going to keep moving on down until I get to the tip of the artichoke. And here we have the beginning. Thank you, Farmhouse, for giving me the wonderful base to work with. And over to the right, I have just added on the chalk paint. I wanted to give a good, um, a good antique color underneath. And right here, this is the finished work. I mean, wow, what a difference. I at first was just going to go chalk paint and then I said, no, I, I, I think I want some green, you know, artichokes are green. Let's go ahead and bring in the color. And I remembered I had some acrylic paint and then I used wax. So I'm going to show you the technique for the green next. This is where the big change takes place right here. And again, it's acrylic. It's not chalk. So it's going to have a, a different feel to it. But don't let it frighten you at all. And it's the same process. And I just dab it off. And you'll see um, where it will be darker in some areas. But what's going to happen is I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go over it a couple of times. 
I want to show you on this plate how I get it nice and watery. So I just wanted to show you how I'm going in between the leaves and how it is darker and then lighter on the outside. And you want to achieve that different type of shading. You want the outside of the leaves to be darker and it get lighter as it goes in. That's going to give the depth. So if you want the depth, don't try to wipe all the inside of the cracks out. Let them stay darker. And then I also painted the bottom part of the artichoke with just the chalk paint and the wax. Now how this is all dark and looks very aged, like to me, like a real artichoke. That is achieved through the wax. And it warms up all of this green. So as you can see, it's darker and then lighter on the outside on the inside of the leaves the inside portion well just you you know what i'm saying <laughs> help me i'm twisting up my words so the two to the left just have the green and the one to the right has the wax so now we're going to apply wax on top of the other two artichokes and it will give this aged look. Again, the Annie Sloan, the dark wax. Just get a good amount on your brush. And I do recommend the brown brush. It is easier to work with. You get a, a really good coverage as well. So you just apply your coat and then dab it off with your napkin. And you'll see some of the wax staying trapped inside the grooves, which is perfect. The more detail on any object you're working with, the better. Because it allows for your colors and your waxes to get trapped inside the grooves. And you can get all that special aged detailing. I can't wait to share with you all um, here shortly where I have decided to place a couple of these um, artichokes. See how the wax, it's nice and deep on their inner portions of the leaves. My daughter and I, London, we love to eat artichokes. So this one is nice and aged. There's this place in California. Well, it's actually in Castroville and it's called um, the Giant Artichoke. 
And whenever we would go to Monterey, we would always stop here. And there's this huge artichoke on the outside that we would take a picture in front of. And then on the inside, there's deep artichokes and deep fried artichokes. And they are delicious. So we always stop there and have a few little artichokes and then make our way down into Monterey.